Start by working three Tunisian knit stitches. And then slide those three stitches onto a cable needle. And then work your next three Tunisian knit stitches. Now slide the stitches from the cable needle onto your crochet hook. And now I've just completed the Tunisian crochet cable stitch. So I'm going to finish the rest of my row and then show you how to work a return pass for the Tunisian crochet cable stitch because it can be a little tricky since the stitches are twisted. So I'll show you the way that I like to do it. So what I like to do is to yarn over and pull through the one loop and then for the second loop I use my fingers to slide it over my hook. It just makes it a little easier for those first three stitches at least. But then the next three are easier to just yarn over and pull through two. So I'm going to complete my return pass and then I'll show you how to make it a little easier to work your next row after you have done a Tunisian crochet cable stitch because that is also tricky since um, the stitches are a little hard to see. So I'm going to start, um, I just did two Tunisian knit stitches and then two Tunisian purl stitches and then I will be to my cable stitch. So what I like to do is to stretch my work apart to see those stitches a little easier, especially those first three we have to work because they're tucked behind the other three. So I just keep stretching my stitches apart to see where I need to insert my hook to do six Tunisian knit stitches. So I just do that all the way across my Tunisian cable stitch. And that is how you work the Tunisian crochet cable stitch, the return pass, and the row after.